Which blood cells are attacked by HIV? Hello, it's Mark Medicals once again teaching you about HIV infection like HIV treatment, HIV symptoms, HIV transmission, and updates on the latest HIV cure news. Question, which blood cells are attacked by HIV? White blood cells, as I already mentioned in previous videos, are responsible for protecting you against invading germs like bacteria, viruses, and others. Components of your blood include white blood cells, red blood cells, blood plasma, and platelets. For you to be infected with HIV, the virus has to circulate in your bloodstream till it finds a special white blood cell, or T lymphocytes called CD4 cells. HIV binds to CD4 cells, then breaks into this T lymphocyte and hijacks all the activities taking place in your CD4 cell. HIV uses your CD4 cells to replicate into many copies of the virus, and thereafter, HIV kills your CD4 cell leading to reduced numbers. Reduced counts of your CD4 cells imply weakened immunity, and if your CD4 cells fall below 500, then you will start feeling the effects of HIV infection. A person whose natural body immunity is still strong should be having CD4 cell counts of 500 to 1,600, so your HIV slowly destroys your CD4 cell till your body is unable to defend itself against germs. If your CD4 cell counts fall below 50, you will be diagnosed with AIDS the final stage of HIV infection. According to CDC, you will not live beyond three years once you have developed AIDS, unless you are started on HIV treatment immediately. So basically, HIV only attacks a type of your white blood cells called CD4 cells. Please do not confuse CD4 cell counts with HIV viral load. CD4 cells form part of your body's natural immunity that protects you from infections, while the viral load is the amount of the virus in your blood. All people living with HIV should aim at attaining undetectable viral load and a higher number of CD4 counts by taking HIV medications as told by the doctor.